NASA's on a new mission to study the origins of the universe, and scientists say fossils in faraway asteroids are the key. Liftoff. Atlas V takes flight. Sending Lucy the Lucy spacecraft blasted off over the weekend from Kennedy Space Center in Florida on a 12-year mission to never-studied asteroids near Jupiter. Lucy will serve as a sort of robotic archaeologist, examining those rocks to help answer questions about how the planets formed. Lori Glaze is with us, NASA's Planetary Science Division Director. Lori, it's great to have you. W what could we learn from Lucy's work? So the Lucy mission is really exciting. It's going out to visit these special asteroids that are, they orbit the sun at about the same distance as Jupiter. Uh, they lead in front of Jupiter and trail behind Jupiter. Um, and they're special remnants uh, that are probably about 4 billion years old. Wow that made up of that material that made all of the planets in the outer part of the solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And so by studying these special asteroids, we can learn more about how those, what those planets are made of and, and that whole early story of that uh, part of the solar system. Man, you know, I, I have heard some noise from NASA about a problem with Lucy's solar panels. What's the issue? And could that derail things here? So right now we're in the process of collecting information from the spacecraft and learning more about what's going on. Shortly after launch, uh, we separated from the rocket. Uh, and we got some great information back from the spacecraft and it told us that the solar arrays, which are large, they're the biggest solar arrays um, that we've sent out to this part of the solar system, 24, 25 feet across to each of the two solar arrays. They both deployed uh, one of them, we got confirmation that it completely deployed and locked into place. The second one deployed, but it didn't. we didn't get confirmation that it locked wow. into place. So we're collecting information now over the next day or so. We, we'll put together a plan and figure out what we're going to do. Hopefully, we'll be able to remedy this and, and fix the situation. But right now, we're still in data gathering mode. Fingers crossed. All right, one more thing. Yeah. There, there's another spacecraft that goes up soon to look at an asteroid that's a lot closer to Earth. I guess the plan is to try to ram the thing to try to see if we can knock it off course just in case one heads for earth sometimes a practice i guess is that right that's exactly right the double asteroid redirection test or dart is going to launch the uh the window opens the day before thanksgiving uh in november and exactly right we're going to ram the spacecraft into the little moonlet uh of this other asteroid the 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 moonlet's called Dimorphos. It's orbiting around an asteroid called Didymos. We're going to run into the moon, and we're going to test how much momentum we can impart on that little moonlet with the spacecraft. And then we'll, using ground-based uh, uh, telescopes, we'll watch and look and see how we change the orbit of that little moon. And like you said, that's a technique we could use in the future if there was ever an asteroid that was going to threaten Earth. Lori Glaze, a lot of work to do. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.